Hey everyone, this is Dustin with ClickSkeek. In today's video, I want to walk you through an e-commerce client for women's apparel brand that in the last 30 days has generated $14,000 with a 3.44% ROAS. So one thing I want to mention here as we go over this campaign is that everything we have here for this women's apparel campaign is a framework that we've developed and designed so that we can replicate this with many other clients to help them also have these similar results. As you'll see here, everything you're seeing here, these results are just based on the first 30 days of results. As we go on, these results only get better and the, re the revenue scales along with it. It just hit the 30 day period, which is pretty awesome. So it has $150 per day. This will scale a lot more. This is actually a relatively small budget for e-commerce campaign. So this will definitely continue to scale as we go. We have a cost for this 30-day period of $4,205.07. We have a revenue of $14,451.61 on this campaign. So pretty awesome there. And then we have a ROAS of 3.44, which is a 344% return on investment. So pretty awesome for the first 30 days. This will definitely improve over time. And it already is actually. Over the last two weeks, we've seen pretty much double the result here. So quite awesome. It has 3,297 clicks. And then on this bid strategy for this PMAX campaign, we are, we are running maximum conversion value. One thing I did want to mention in this campaign as based on the budget here, we have $150 per day budget. So we do this on purpose. We do this so that in the very beginning, we have a smaller budget. This allows us to work on optimizing the campaign as we scale it. It also allows us to collect quite a bit of data. As we move on and we start scaling this budget, one thing that we will be doing is we'll be changing up the asset structure, meaning the asset groups themselves. So right now they're mostly generalized based on our, our women apparel brand. So it's very, it's very generalized right now. As we move on, we will then be breaking that structure out into individual types of products inside of the campaign itself and then testing those and then also so you can imagine that over time, this PMAX campaign, as we have plenty of budget to test across different asset groups, we can span that budget across multiple different products. We can go very granular. We can move into where we are actually testing you know, women's apparel on a specific type of audience signal. Right now, since our budget is smaller, we, it doesn't make sense to go that granular because we would be splitting hairs, basically. Like I said earlier on the video, this is something that we have built and is something that we can replicate for your business. So if this is something that you are interested in having our team build and manage for you, then please reach out to us by using the application link that's just down in the description or by commenting and we'll help you get in contact with the right person. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll be happy to answer those questions. Other than that, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.